Hi guys, I wanted to shoot a simple tutorial video on driving LED strips from an Arduino. Um, you know, an Arduino, I mostly light model kits. And model kits are great to light. The Arduino is a great platform if you need effects. But one of the problems is when you want to drive something other than a standard LED, it's a little more difficult. An Arduino can output 5 volts on a pin. This is the fade demo right off of the Arduino environment that I have loaded here. I'm hooked into pin 9, which is a PWM pin. This, could, this works digital the same way. I am running an LED with a 330 ohm resistor, and I'm just letting the demo run, fade, and up and down. Now here in the background, I've got an LED strip. This LED strip, uh, in this particular case, can run anywhere from about 7.5 volts to, uh, I think, 16 volts. For this demo, I'm going to run it at 12 volts. As you see on my power supply, it's dialed in 12 volts. And by the way, I am running dual powers here. Uh, my Arduino is being powered by the USB coming off my computer. And I'm going to drive these LEDs off of the alternate power supply. So if we take the LED strip and I plug it in, it is not going to light. I'm only getting 5 volts out of this Arduino pin. That is not enough to light up these LEDs. So we'll disconnect that and for right now I'll just drop the LED back in here. So how do we light this? There's a lot of different ways to do it, but if you still want to have the PWM effect so that you can fade up and down, uh, there's a couple choices, but the easiest to use is a transistor. If you just want to go on and off, you could use a relay, or you can use a transistor, same circuit. So what is a transistor? A transistor can be used as a switch or an amplifier. This particular transistor that I'm going to talk about is a general use transistor, a PN2222A. has three pins on it a collector, a base, and an emitter. And we'll talk about what those mean. I'm not going to go into all the math in this video of how you size the resistors that I'm going to talk about here, but uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that uh, delve into this a little more in depth and probably with people that understand the math a lot better than I do. I've used some basic equations and I arrived at something that's working for me using up to about two feet, two to three feet, I think I have three feet in one kit, of um, LED tape. So here's the circuit we're going to build. We got the Arduino here. We have pin 9. Now this is going to go through a 1K ohm resistor. It's going to go to the base leg of the transmitter. I'm going to have my alternate voltage source of 12 volts coming into my LED strip. On the, the negative of the LED strip is going to go to the collector. Now it's really important that when you're dealing with transistors, your load is on the collector side of the transmitter. The emitter side of the transmitter is just going to get connected to ground. Now what's going on here? There is current flowing across from the collector to the emitter. That current is a ratio based on the current that's coming in through the base. So we have to put a resistor here to establish current on the, on the transistor. You just can't plot pile voltage to it. You need to establish current. A 1K ohm will give me up to... Uh, it'll give me well over um, what I need to drive this circuit. So the fact that this is 12 volts here and I'm only 5 volts here, the uh, transistor is dealing with that. It's connecting it through. Now, I'll be honest here, this is hardwired. You have higher voltage here than what the Arduino is supposed to have. Something shorts out, you could fry your Arduino. But this is general circuitry, and you'll find this, if you go look at this on the web, you'll find other people doing this. 
There is other examples where uh, people are driving relays or uh, solenoid valve switches that are high, much higher voltage than the 5 volts. They're doing this same thing. And you'll see some examples that tie capacitors and diodes across the collector and the emitter. This is to create a circuit break. I'm not going to do this in this demo. My LEDs don't have the same type of bounce when you're dealing with something with a coil in it. But we're going to keep this a nice simple circuit. Now when you're dealing with transistors, you have to watch the packaging. You see this has a flat on one side, curved on the other. If we look at the diagram, it is, I'll lay it against the diagram, flat and curved, same way as the diagram, so I know that the pin to the top is the collector, the middle pin is the base, the bottom pin is the emitter. Uh, if you get it backwards, it ain't going to work. Uh, but you have to be real clear on which way you put this in. Now I've already got this circuit pretty much built. I already have this circuit pretty much built on the uh, breadboard. I'm just going to hook everything up here. Now, these two wires are to my LED. My LED strip. Okay, I'm going to plug the ground of the LED strip to the collector. The positive I'm going to give eventually 12 volts. Now it's really important when you're doing this multiple power supplies you need to tie all your grounds together. This is the ground for my um, power supply. I'm tying it into my ground rail here on my breadboard. This is um, this black wire coming across is my ground from my Arduino and I always make my blue stripe I don't know how well that's coming out on the video but I always make my blue stripe the ground. So we're gonna move the white just disconnect the LED. I'm gonna move it over to the base resistor. On the emitter I have the emitter tied to ground so the collector is tied to the negative of the LED strip. The current's going to flow from here through the emitter to the ground. Last connection is to give 12 volts to my LED strip. And now the same program is doing the up and down fading effect of an LED strip. And I have one transistor and one 1K ohm resistor. I uh, hope you found this helpful and it makes sense. If anybody is really interested in the math to do this, it's basically just Ohm's Law. Uh, I'm, I could do the demo, but there's a lot of guys that explain it much better on YouTube. There's a couple great videos out there on uh, how to work with transistors and MOFSETs, which is a different type of transistor. But um, I hope you found this helpful. If anybody has any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, and I'll try and address them. Thanks!